So, funny story. Before we get started, I have been informed that uh, Rhaegal is actually the green one, and Viserion is actually the brown one. So, my last video was actually about Viserion, and this video is about Rhaegal. However, it's already all recorded, and it's far too late for me to change it because, god, I'm just too lazy. So we're just going to deal with that. I'm just going to leave you with that knowledge and we're going to continue as if nothing has changed. Okay? Okay. Nice. Hi! Welcome back to Eye of the Beholder painting tutorials. I'm going to try to speak a little bit more clearly this time because last time I couldn't even understand half the things that I was saying and I wrote the script. So... Continuing from my last two episodes, I'm going to be painting Viserion from the Mother of Dragons expansion for the Song of Ice and Fire board game. Viserion has a striking color palette and a really dynamic sculpt, making it a lot of fun to paint. He also took a surprisingly short amount of time, so this video may or may not be shorter than usual. I began with the same priming I did for the others before picking up my gradient colors for the wings. So yeah, funny, hilarious, haha -ha story about him. I painted all of the green tones for the body and the wings, and then I realized that it was way too blue to be similar enough to the reference photo, so I kind of had to scrap it and try again. So my final colors for him were Cabalite Green, with some black for the darkest, then pure Cabalite Green, and then some additions of pure white and some moot green for the brighter tones. I played around with the values quite a bit to get the brightness I specifically wanted, but those are the only colors I used for the green. Like Rhaegal, I had my darkest tone at the tips of the wings, and then I got very very bright for the hands. The other brighter areas include the chest, the head, and the front of the tail. The underside of the wings were based in my darkest, just like with Rhaegal as well, but more on them later. I had already painted some of the brown areas, but since I was repainting the green, I decided to redo them as well. I had tones of Rhinoxide mixed with Doombull Brown, and then pure Doombull Brown, some additions of Scrag Brown, and then random amounts of Flayed One's Flesh and Uriel Yellow for my brightest. The ends of the wings had a very messy brown tone to them, so I took an old brush and kind of just stabbed the wings to get that texture onto there. I also highlighted it with my other tones, but I didn't want it to get too bright, but it's still highlighted. For the rest of the brown on the body, I had my base tone down the back and on the shoulders and the spikes and the neck areas, and then I just highlighted those according to regular Xenophal highlighting. And if you don't know what that is, just in case, it just means that the light is coming from right above the model or when the sun would be at its zenith. Like Rhaegal, I used my brightest tone to speckle in some random scales for a texture variation.
Next, I went to the leathery cracks on the wings. I just used pure flayed one's flesh. <laughs> I used pure flayed one's flesh and lined the cracks faintly, as well as made some of my own. I also edge highlighted the ends of the wings. Using one of my brighter Cabalite green mixtures, I dry brushed the back spikes. And since Viserion has a more reachable underwing area, I decided to highlight the dark parts with some of my Scrag Brown mix, as well as keeping the finger bones blue. I took my dark blue color again, and then I also filled the area surrounding the eye just to make it a bit darker and to also contrast with the yellow of the eyes. While that dried, I took Screamer Pink and based the inside of the mouth before quickly highlighting with the addition of some Emperor's Children. For the eyes, I did just the same as Rhaegal, which was just pure Uriel yellow, and then a highlight with a very bright mixture that included Flayed One's Flesh, and then dotting in the people with pure black. In between doing all that, I painted the teeth in Flayed One's Flesh to be later highlighted with just pure white. I based the claws in black and then quickly highlighted with Eshin Grey and that was, that was the end of it. Again, that felt incredibly fast and not very helpful to anyone watching who was hoping to learn, but I hope I made it understandable. We've only got one dragon left in this expansion and then I guess I'm going to have to actually film a new video. Either way, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed yourself and maybe you learned something? I don't know. You can contact me in different places if you want to, and I'll see you later. Bye.